I kept on thinking to myself, will I ever enter Dubai? Will I ever enter Dubai? I like the vibe of airports because you kind of don't really know what time it is in there. Kind of seems like a little bit, like it's a different dimension. Let's talk about airports and being stranded, shall we? Hi, I'm Laya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate as well as a travel and lifestyle brand. So in case you're just joining, welcome to the Outliers group. <laughs> Anywho, so today, as you already know from the title, you know what it's going to be about. I just thought of sharing this video when I watched this Emma Chamberlain's video. I'm like, oh my God, I can remember this happened. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I should share it with you guys. It might be a funny story. Like this video does, this story does not lead anywhere. So if you're expecting a payoff from this story, I don't think you're getting any. But if you just really want to enjoy and hear what happened, you're welcome to join. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, so let's begin. So it was about, let me count. Um, ah, jeez, I'm old though. So 2018, when did I finish school? I finished high school in 2011. So 2011, I was in SS3, SS2, SS2. So through about 2008, 2009, it was my first time in Dubai, right? And I was traveling alone without my family. And I'll be the first in my family to go to Dubai. And I was traveling with a couple you know other young people like myself within my same in my age range and basically go with the top rate so i really do not know what happened i know that it began smoothly i was so excited I was like, oh my god i'm in an airplane for the first time in my life i was in gs3 let's keep that in my gs3 i was about 13 years old 13 to 14 13 most likely 13 years old I was super excited being that I think I was, I don't know was I the first no I don't think I was the first but the point here is I was excited with my first experience in an international airline Emirates was it Emirates sorry it was not Emirates sorry <laughs> it was I think it was Air Kenya or something I can't remember what airline it was but it wasn't Emirates yeah anywho so we got to the airport I was not sure what the steps were supposed to be like i know that I, like i said i was naive i was young i don't know and that was my first international flight so let's keep that in mind i did not know what to do and i was among so many other people that did not know what to do i was among some so a few adults right these adults are supposed to be the one taking care of us looking after us and this is what happened we <laughs> Thinking about it, I'm like, wow, girl, you did that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we were taken to the airport. We came, wait, wait, I'm fast forwarding. I can't remember everything, guys. This was like, how many years ago? 2008, 2009, 2010, 2010. Like 11 years ago, 11 to 12 years ago. Then I entered into, into Dubai's airport and God. I was in awe of how beautiful the airport was. I was like, okay, if they want me to sleep here, no problem. Like, it's just so beautiful. In the airport, there was an hotel. I'm like, can't we just lodge into the hotel? I know I'm fast forwarding. So I really don't know what happened. All I can remember is that we were supposed to enter Dubai and they were telling us that we cannot enter Dubai. That in fact, we have to have to deport us back to Nigeria. And yeah, I was like, oh my God, my first time in Dubai or my first time outside Nigeria. And this is my experience. I'm like, what's going on? I said, never. The devil is a liar. I must enter Dubai. I don't know what happened. I'll keep saying, I don't know what happened. I know you ask questions. I don't know that I was there in the airport. Two hours passed. Three hours passed. Four hours passed. We're still in the airport. Nothing happened. Ten hours passed. We started going to the vending machines to go and get something to eat. Ten hours passed. We looked for chairs to sit down. Then later we fell asleep. We love our spas. Like, I'm like, we're still in this airport. Okay, what's going on? I'm like, we had just one week to spend in Dubai. Keep that in mind. Is it one week or one and a half weeks? We had just one. We're like, wow. Out of the one week, I've already spent like a day in the airport. Lo and behold, I don't know if I brushed my teeth. I think I might have gone to the toilet to, you know, just do some things. I felt like an homeless person that day. Wow. It was like, it was so surprised. I didn't know what happened. I keep saying, like, it's surprising to me that I actually don't know what happened. I'm guessing they did not file our papers right. I'm guessing that's what happened, you know. But you know what? A girl's killed through. I know I fell forward through this process. But that's 
all like, I can remember. I know that I can remember a lot of vending machines, a lot of visiting vending machines, a lot of. I did not make friends. I was like, I didn't make new friends as far like strangers, like what do, what do they call it? Like basically tourists in the airport. I just I was young and I'm number one. I'm even an introvert, so people around me that we travel to here were enough for me to make as friends because it was my first time meeting them also. Anyways, it was a lot of, I don't remember me going around the airport, like saying, okay, because we're in the airport, let me explore. Because I came with people and we're already hustling entering Dubai, so they cannot afford to lose me, you know, in the process because I want to explore the airport. But I can remember being, like, the airport being so beautiful. Like, I could, I could not even tell. Now, this was the sad part. I could not tell if we were in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening because every damn time it looked the damn same way. Like, I'm like, are we in the morning now? Are we in the evening now? Like, what was the time? I don't know. <laughs> like, it was that insane. Like, the architecture was great. The everything was sure beautiful, but I don't know about the customer service. I don't know if it was the customer service that let us stay there for 24 hours. I can't remember what it was. I think it was 48 hours, guys. It was not a pleasant experience in terms of having not to brush your teeth, having to sleep on an uncomfortable chair, having to um, eat from the vending machine, and having to take away two days from your experience that's supposed to be in Dubai. I kept on thinking to myself, Will I ever enter Dubai? Will I ever enter Dubai? I kept on thinking to myself. So it means this is where my, my trip will end. My trip end here in the airport. So I, I would tell people I came to Dubai and it was just the airport I stopped that. Like it was like so many thoughts were just like going through my mind and what the the most paramount one was will I enter Dubai? Like what is it like after du- like after this place that we are, what is it like outside this place? Like I kept up like, oh my god, this is going to be my Dubai experience. But my brothers and sisters, we had the experience eventually, and it was beautiful. Dubai is a beautiful place to visit. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that is my story. I told you there was no serious fear. I just felt like summarized. I just felt like sharing this with you guys. I could have just kept the story to myself till, like, I'm eighty something or till Jesus stories. You know what I mean? Anyways, so like that's my story. What do you guys think of my story? Have you ever been in the same situation? Have you ever been stranded in any airport or, or I don't know, maybe a visa situation in an airport? I know I've seen similar videos or I know someone was stranded in Rwanda or something due to visa issues. Like I said, I don't know if I, it might have been a visa issue. I'm very sure it might have been a visa issue that wasn't well processed, but eventually they did it that we eventually went into the country or the city, you know what I mean? So let's talk about it in the comment section. What has been your experience? And if you've ever experienced it, what do you think you would do? What would the first what would be the first thing you would do when you like in, in this kind of situation? Would you want to explore the city, the airport? What would you do? Would you cry? Would you faint? Would you start I don't know? Like I think there was Wi-Fi, but the phones back then there were no smartphones. I think all we had was Motorola or something. So there was nothing like Instagram. So what would you do in that situation? And do you think we handled our situation well. Like basically, we're sleeping sleeping on the chairs, very uncomfortable chairs, because they were iron made. Um, eating from the vending machine. I'll never forget the vending machine. That was like my go-to. Anyway, that was my experience. I can't remember. I, I had to relieve that experience because I wanted to share this story. That's it, guys. I hope this video made some form of sense to you. Please subscribe if you are yet to. I do a lot of videos on travels. <laughs> lifestyle and you know a lot of development tourism development videos or advocacy videos yeah that's it like this video if you enjoyed the story if you want to know more about my other travel escapades let me know in the comment section below and share this video with family and friends with anybody you think that has happy been in this kind of situation so they can relate so that we can know our team like our group of people that oh you've been there i've been there oh my god oh girl how did you do it how did you do it let's talk about it in the comment section <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you in my next video. Till next time, don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace.